it's not all about the hair that you take off, it's actually more about the hair that you leave on, isn't it? Yeah. Hair that we take off, where does that go? On the floor, it gets swept away and then it's gone. What's relevant now to the client is the hair that we leave on, bro. If anything, probably what we need to do, take a little bit length off this, and it's a little bit heavy for me through here. Yeah. So, bro, do you know what that tells me? All I gotta do is work on this and this, and it's done. Oh, yeah. Okay, cool. So, once again, here we go. This time, I want to tilt the head down. I want to groom the hair completely down, like so. Okay, and the comb, all right, and the finger. I'm going to come down together and create that nice little separation just behind the ear there, bro. It needs to be. Okay, fine. And then, of course, the other side. Again, just assessing with the head. Comes round into the back from that point there, bro. Section goes just behind the ear, like so. Using our fingers. On the final side of the comb, from here, here we go, this time with the thumb and the comb, we're gonna drive it. That's it. Fine side of the comb, separate that out completely. All right. So this time, grooming it from the back all the way to the front, like so, comb comes underneath. So all I'm gonna do here, very, very simply, is come through, one clip, and then of course, just for added safety and security, bro, two clips, and we see we've got a lot of excess length here, don't we, at the bottom? Yeah. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use some of that length just there from the side, so the longer short piece, see it gradually starts shorter and it ever so slightly gets longer. I'm gonna use the longest fragment of this length to put in a nice little line through the back there, okay? So if we comb all this hair down, you see this beautiful little fragment of shorter to longer. Now, unfortunately, what a lot of people mistake in this scenario is to use this as the guide, and you can see we're actually gonna reduce the length in this area quite a lot. What I'm actually gonna do is pivot my comb and actually use some of the longer fragments from this and use that as my guide. Okay, here we go, fingers come in. There is our length, and of course, I'm going to create a nice little round line. And you see this little scrape motion that I'm using. Okay, look at that, nice and simple. It comes away. Come through now, we step round, step to the middle. On the neckline there, finger comes in, holds it, ready, there's our guide. Following that right the way around to the middle, keeping our line as broken as we can. Okay, just like that. Okay, at this point, see what we've done. Okay, beautiful. Profile line down the center. And of course, using our comb as a reference for how thick or big the section needs to be. To the opposite side. Okay, clip this time, of course. All right. Using again the top as a reference, all I'm gonna do here, bro, very simply is come in and just break up that line a little piece. This time, as I get close towards the bottom, I'm gonna angle my section just a little bit. And again, all I'm looking to do is really just texturize and splinter all the hair here in the middle, like so. You can see my fingers are getting slightly more angled as I get towards the bottom. This time to assist me, I'm gonna tilt the head forward. As I get towards the very bottom here, that is gonna allow me to elevate the bottom of the section up a little bit more, and therefore have a little bit more control over it. So here we go, once again, coming right on up there, bottom of the section, and you can see not a massive difference being made. I'm just, you know, again, think of the sandpaper, think of that little kind of element of refinery going on, where we're just refining that little line there. Breaking that up as much as we can. Okay, there is section number one. Leaning the head forward a little bit, section comes straight off the head like so, and here we are, all right. Straight off the head, finger, comb, and you can see this very angular, it's kind of like the scissors more parallel to the section. See that idea and the desire is not to actually take off length, but just to remove a little bit of weight now. So essentially, you'll see a quite thick form or thick appearance of the section. As I do my scissor work, you're gonna see that lightening up a little bit, all right? Therefore, it's gonna add a lot more movement, a lot more texture. Texture referring to the levels of movement within the haircut. All the way down to the bottom, getting slightly longer, 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 and we'll leave that be, okay? 
Okay, so there we have a three and four. Last two sections now, it's right off from the head there. Here we go. And again, we're encouraging that movement of the section away from the head, so it allows us to get it slightly longer towards the bottom. Enough with that there, so we'll keep all of this. Here we go, section number two. Slightly bigger sections due to the hair not being as, you know, dense. Square that off a little bit into the back there like so. Just like that. And oh, that's it, nothing too crazy there whatsoever. I don't really feel much needs to happen here, bro, at all. I don't really feel much needs to happen. It might be more texture work now, really. Angling the fingers a little bit and ever so lightly just scratching the ends off a little teeny tiny touch. Very, very small. Over the top, etching that line in a little bit there, just a little small bit. Keep it pretty much on the eyebrow line. Everything there looking really cool too. Always checking that shit to make sure everything is in line. Like that. I'm just gonna really kind of, you know, amp up the, the movement in this particular haircut, bro. So, of course, through the top. Beautiful little movement now from the sides. Hugs the ear like so, and there is our beautiful little mullet still intact. Everything is, is where it should be. So even though it looks like a quite a complex haircut, bro, does not need to be um, very an overcomplicated technique, if that makes sense.